So I know many people are focused on the terrorist attack at the border. Look, I, 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 um, I, that's, you should expect that. I, it's sad, but that's what globalists do. That's what the cartels are going to do, and the cartels in this case would be the non-governmental organizations through the United Nations, our government, uh, the World Economic. They're going to do whatever they have to. They're just very, they're sick people. Um, there's a reason Trump said these people are sick. Um, and so part of that biggest sickness is the people heading up medicine and, and science, as I've said, in nursing, unfortunately. Um, and because, again, as I've said for years now, they've gotten on board with the globalists. That's what con or got on board with the UN. That's what concerns me most, okay? Um, because, yeah, you can expect these terrorist attacks. We've had an open border for three years. It's, it's a given, right? You just have to keep your head on a swivel and... Um, be aware of your surroundings. But um, what's more concerning is while you're focusing on that is, is what these people are doing because um, what is disturbing is how um, what the, the, the papers they write, how sick, how sick they really are because they don't, um, well, let me show you. So this is straight from uh, John Hopkins Medicine, yes, the International Global Collaborative Healthcare Consulting, the future of healthcare globalization. Joining forces from the same article, the model we created more than 20 years ago includes collaborations with international affiliates, private healthcare organizations, insurers, non-governmental organizations, government agencies, academic centers, and others to expand and enhance care at the local level. No. There's a reason why outcomes are poor. Now, they may be able to say, oh, we have, we, we've saved people from stroke or heart attacks, and, you know, that's a positive outcome. No, when you monopolize, I, I, it's hard for me to believe that all these businessmen heading up the hospitals didn't know that this would happen, but maybe they don't. Maybe, you know, but again, these are all the experts, right? The experts of the economy and of health care that all got on board with this bullshit. Um, but when you monopolize, you are taking choices away from the community, then you don't have to compete, as I always say. And what ends up ha ha happening is everyone suffers. Yet the papers they write, they would really throw medical professionals off because they'd read it and say, of course, this makes sense. No, no, it doesn't. Not at all. Um, it does not. So, and, and this is how absolutely lunatic they are. So they say, when we talk about the globalization of healthcare, we're addressing how diseases spread quickly across populations and borders to become pandemics. I wonder why they don't, and none of these, you know, experts of American Medical Nursing Associations, you know, those, those once uh, at one time fraternities. Um, I wonder why they don't ever want to talk, or even the World Health Organization, why they don't really want to address how really gain of function is responsible for the pandemics. Science playing with with cells from human beings, and you know the, the Dr. Jekyll kind of bleh, that's what it is. Gain of function is put get, uh, placing a function to make it a a, a worse virus. We I, 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 I have a hard time believing that. American medical, nursing, um, the science, that none of them are paying attention to the hearings that have been going on for a while now in regards to gain of function. I, 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 they're just, com again, completely ignoring it. But this is how much they lie in papers because the, and, and healthcare workers would buy this. Oh, of course this makes sense. Everybody's collaborating, okay? But you're, you haven't shown an evidence of a, a success track. They haven't. They haven't. They've told you there is. They've told healthcare workers that, no, here's our evidence. Your evidence doesn't mean shit. Look around you. No, it's worse because you monopolized and because you somehow think. And, and, and the thing is, they know that this is a totalitarian system. Yet they continue down the track, which really is not the kind of people you want in charge of anything because they can't even recognize that they're burying themselves by staying on this track. So 
goes on to say, what steps organizations worldwide are taking to standardize health, healthcare delivery to ensure patient safety and best outcomes? No, that you, your outcomes have gone into the toilet. The quality of care has gone into the toilet over the past 10 years and not because of the nurses or doctors at the bedside. No, because you have cut staff, you have merged, you had totally through quality of care and best outcomes out the window, but you continue, continue to write bullshit papers like that you have best outcomes. No, you don't. Um, or why increasing numbers of caregivers are immigrating or better professional opportunities. This is all the reasons for global, uh, globalized health. Here is the reason I did my last video is because of this. This next, what next paragraph I'm going to read. Because it basically says their God is Asclepius. The God of medicine. So, and the, again, this is John Hopkins. But the most immediate idea of globalized healthcare is tourism, when patients travel sometimes around the world to receive diagnoses or treatment. This is not a new concept. In honor of their god of medicine, Asclepius, the ancient Greeks erected the Asclepia temples, which became hospitals, which became some of the world's first health centers, hospitals. People from all over travel to these temples seeking cures for their ailments. So it sounds like really it's just a money-making business. So I wonder why the people running nursing, and to me, again, I go back to uh, what the values of nursing are supposed to be. Um, and um, it's not supposed to be, especially for nursing, just some money-maker. So why did our professional organization of nursing uh, do this? Because, I mean, is, was it impossible for them to see over the past that it's 20 years they've all got on board with it? I mean, so I'm just wondering, I'm, have you seen better outcomes? No, we have more viruses, we have more diseases, we have more neurological disorders. Um, we don't have best outcomes. Uh, and and it's, this is not just a pharma problem. Again, this is a major, major leadership problem. And when they don't even want to address what the people we elected are looking into, which is gain of function, then you really have to say to yourselves, are they that stupid? They don't know about gain of function. No, they do. But they're liars. These collaborations involve developing and managing clinical programs, offering healthcare education and leadership development opportunities to our affiliates, healthcare providers, and administrators, and fostering research and discovery that will change medicine for generations. Is this who you want to be fostering research? No, that's part of the problem. Today, we have collaborations to advance healthcare around the world, helping our affiliates. No, they're helping themselves is what they're doing. And it just it's not really wise to get on board with a global health plan again because um, the people that are heading that up um, I mean that are behind it all they're just going to use all these people and then throw them to the wolves they will they will they'll just use them to get to where they want these people at the very top they keep it they you know everybody knows they keep it in the family so for these medical professionals and nursing professionals to continue to go on this track when they have no evidence to prove that any of this um, shows positive outcomes and and more so it proves that people don't want it and um, they didn't elect any of these people and the biggest thing is how they ignore the most the most crisis things we have going on trafficking of human beings should be the number one thing but that should have been three years ago and nursing didn't want to focus on it instead they got on board with these people to do all the things in the past like wearing masks and stuff that they knew during the spanish flu didn't work um they learned that evidence fauci wrote about it himself yet he all made us wear masks um or you'd think that they they'd uh, they'd at least start focusing on how maybe gain of function is why there's more pandemics and why the science and the people in leadership of science, medicine, and nursing seem to not be able to recognize that they don't have better outcomes, but they're really good at telling you how they do. Globalization is a, a pathway to the darkest totalitarian system. And being all monopolized is the path they're using to get there.